All right, today guys, I would like to take a trip in the time capsule and check out the first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube speaking Chinese. Now, this video was posted May 30th, 2011. That's a very long time ago. And for some context, I had just gotten back from living in China for a year and I was on TV and radio a couple times in China, like they thought I spoke good Chinese. So when I got back to America, I was like, well, how can I continue this like fun journey of being on camera? And so I decided to post this video on YouTube of me speaking Chinese. It got a lot of views. It got like 700K views within a few weeks. And I was super excited. I was like, wow, that's really cool. And I had people texting me being like, dude, what's going on? I see you're on YouTube, that's so cool. And so that was really fun. So this is the first video I've ever posted to YouTube and I haven't watched it in a while. And I'm really curious to check it out. It's called White Guy Speaks Fluent Chinese. See, even, <laughs> even at this early stage, I was the master of clickbait. Okay, let's check it out though. Okay guys, so today I'm gonna speak some Chinese for you. Uh, first I'm gonna do a uh, kind of very- <laughs> I'm so freaking young, first of all. I look so young. Also, I'm so skinny. Look at look at my freaking face, like. <laughs> okay, let's keep watching. First I'm gonna do a uh, kind of very standard, standard uh, broadcaster Mandarin, uh, what you typically hear on the TV and radio. Um, and then I'm gonna do a uh, sort of colloquial, uh, Beijing accent. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoy. I was such a nerd. I actually, you know what? I remember doing this video. I remember doing so many takes because, like, I wasn't, I was, like, so unhappy with how, like, I looked on the camera. So I just kept, like, filming it a million times. All right, so let's check out my broadcaster Mandarin. <laughs> Actually remember that whole speech actually because I memorized it for making this video. It's like some news article from 2009 or something. Uh, and it's like about it's it's like a political thing. It's like about like um you know the president and prime minister of China meeting like their count US counterparts and like <laughs> it's just like such a boring thing. But um but I just rehearsed it so many times to make this video. Here's actually a fun little fact about that article, by the way. I actually tried posting this video on Chinese social media um, a few years ago, and I wasn't able to post it. Um, the reason being that in China, they have like very strict internet censorship with like whatever content you post online. And so you're not allowed to post like any type of like political or news related content as like a content creator. So this this video got flagged for being like political and to this date, it's not allowed <laughs> in China. Even though the article itself is like totally innocuous, like it's actually from Chinese state media. So I, always, I found that kind of interesting. <laughs> okay, so let's do what I like to do on this channel and rate my Chinese. First of all, I feel like my accent has changed a little bit. Like, I feel like back then I had a more like Northern accent, which makes sense because I just came from, from Beijing, which is like in the North of China. So I had a very like, like very like R kind of sound. Whereas now I sort of, cause I've lived in New York with like a lot of Southern Chinese speakers for too long. I kind of sound like, like not exactly like that, but like, I feel like more of a mix now than like, because the equivalent of me doing this video, it would be like the Chinese person came to New York and they lived in Brooklyn and they developed like a really thick, like New York accent. And then like, they went back to China and they spoke English to all their friends like, Hey, how's it going? My name's Vinny. You know, I love to eat like Italian subs all the time. Like that, that kind of thing. Like that's what I sound like speaking Chinese here in reverse. 
。自今年一月对美国进行成立国事访问以来，中美元首达成的努力建设相互尊重、互利共赢的中美合作伙伴关系，共识正得到认真落实。Alright, I don't want to sound too critical, also of myself from ten years ago, but um, I was speaking too fast here, and I messed up some of the tones. So I I think I think what I was trying to do, I was just trying to impress people. So I was speaking like as fast as I could. But the reality is, when you're speaking Mandarin, you have to slow down a little bit because the tones need to be accurate. So, like for example, this is Obama 总统的口型，胡锦涛主席。这是奥巴马总统的口型，胡锦涛主席。这是奥巴马总统的口型。That 胡锦涛主席，这是奥巴马总统的口型。The tones there weren't really clear. I sound something like look. 胡锦涛主席，这是奥巴马总统的口型。The tones should be something more like 胡锦涛主席，这是奥巴马总统的口型。So I think I think I was just kind of getting tongue-tied by like trying to speak so quickly. So, 双方在双边、地区、全球领域保持密切交往与对话，开展有效沟通与合作。在新形势下，中方愿与美方一道努力，进一步加深对话交流，增进了解和战略互信，妥善处理分歧，扩大和深化各领域务实合作，推动中美合作伙伴关系不断向前发展。Uh, now. Beijing accent. So, I guess we're gonna do the Beijing accent here. I don't know why I decided to include this. I think I just wanted to show off my like super authentic Beijing accent here. The old man, you are in the middle of the night doing what? Hey, brothers, what do you mean? I know what he means. He means that you are not just saying what you are doing. Look, the old men have already known. Hey, how many people are there? Okay. To be fair, that was pretty good. That was a good one.、Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't even know if I can still do that. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me see. Let me see. 大老曹，今天你咋成天教的把事儿了？你怎么成天教的把事儿了？大老曹，今天你咋成天教的把事儿了？你怎么成天教的把事儿了 ？I don't know. I don't think I can do this anymore. 嘿，兄弟，你啥意思？嘿，兄弟，你啥意思？嘿，兄弟，你啥意思 ？I still kind of got it. I still kind of got it. Okay, that's cool. Um, you guys want to check out the comments? <laughs> do we have to? I think we do. Okay, let's take a look at the comments. When I heard you speak Chinese, my eyeballs nearly popped and I nearly fainted. You're so good. This guy is so good. He's good enough to teach people in China Mandarin as if he was born and raised there. I remember watching this video a few years ago, but only now just realized that it's Xiaoma. Hello, amazing. I'm Chinese and can't get the Beijing accent. I have a question. Now you can speak it so well. Does it feel natural to you, like English, or does it still sound foreign to you? It sounds pretty natural, honestly. Like for me, for me, it's very like. It's just like part of my life. You know, like I talk with my wife and baby in Chinese. And uh, it, uh, yeah, it just feels like speaking English at this point. That is amazing. You just encouraged me to improve my English, and I can imagine how much effort you put on mastering a language. Well, thank you. And、um, you know, I mean, the whole purpose of what I do on YouTube, you know, making these videos, is really to encourage people and give people motivation to to want to go and learn languages because it's it's really not as hard as you think.、Um, and I think you know, different people do learn at different rates. But I think that I think that it's it's really Getting fluent in languages within realistic grasp of pretty much anybody who can speak their own native language, because you all learn that, right? So it might be harder to learn a second language as an adult, but it's it's definitely possible. It's so funny, like watching this old video and like, because at the time that I made this video, I didn't like. I was my my plan was to go to like law school at that point, and I just didn't. It really becoming like a full time YouTuber. As my, as my, as my job, like doing this to make money and make a living,、um, and support my family, like wasn't that wasn't even even like an inkling as a possibility in my mind. And I think part of it is that this was a little bit earlier. This was like 2011. Back then, like being a YouTuber wasn't really as much of a career. So、um, I, you know, like some YouTubers will tell you, like, oh, I I always wanted to be a YouTuber when I was young.、Um, but for me, that that wasn't the case. Like I didn't even it. It just wasn't something that ever really crossed my mind. Like I would have rather been like a lawyer or a programmer or, or you know whatever. But honestly, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the way things turned out、um, 
because uh, you know I have the support of, uh, of all you guys and uh, um, getting a little bit misty eyed here. Um, you know I have the support of all you guys um, and you know I really appreciate um, you know you helping me turn this into something that uh, I think can help a lot of people. So, all right, remember to subscribe, guys, if you haven't. Uh, and see you all next time. Bye bye.